Hey there, I'm DIY Pete out in Bozeman, Montana. Today I'm going to show you the do-it-yourself method of how to create your own website and blog. You're going to learn the whole process of getting a domain, setting up hosting, setting up WordPress, and finally writing your first blog post. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. The first step is to go to www.diypete.com and then you'll click on either the resources page where you can go down to the Bluehost link or you can go up to the start your own DIY blog link on the top and click on that. Now you can either click on the banner or one of the other Bluehost affiliate links on that page. That'll take us to the setup page for Bluehost so you can just click on uh, get started now. Next we'll be able to enter in the domain that we're trying to get. For instance mine is DIYPete.com. Today I'm going to try and get DownSouthDIY.com. So enter in the domain you're trying to get and then you can look at the extensions. I'd recommend .com. Then click next. If the domain's available, it'll say congratulations. And it looks like downsouthdiy.com is available. Then you can just put in your registration details, like your first name, last name, business name, and your address. When that's done, you can scroll down and pick your account plan. Today, we're going to go with the 12 month price, which is $6.95 per month. But if you do sign up for longer, it does get cheaper. Next, I like to unclick these boxes. I just don't think they're necessary and they're gonna save you some money. Now it's time to put in your credit card information. I'm gonna blur this out, but you'll just simply put in your credit card information, the expiration date, and the code on the back. Click next and it'll take you to another page where they're trying to sell you a few more add-ons. I never get any of these add-ons for my web pages and you don't need to either. So you can just scroll through this to the bottom of the page and click complete. This page just shows that our registration went through and that everything's ready to go. So click create your password. Now we'll enter a password for the Bluehost C panel. Just make sure that you do it to their specifications where you have a capital letter and some explanation points and all of that jazz. Once that's set up, click create. Now, this is the first time we're going to be asked to log into the Bluehost backend. So click and put in your username and then the password that you just set up. After that's done, click log in. Okay, now we're into the Bluehost backend for the first time. So click C panel. The control panel is going to pop up with quite a few icons, but don't let that overwhelm you. We only need to worry about either clicking on the website tab up top or scrolling down a little bit and clicking on that WordPress icon below. And they'll both take you to the same page, which is going to prepare us for the WordPress installation. So just wait a couple seconds while it loads. It shouldn't take too long. As soon as that's done, we can click on Start. Now it's going to ask where we want to install WordPress. We want to install it on our domain so you don't have to change anything. Then click Check Domain. Then Continue. Then you'll want to click on both of the uh, check marks. The first one will show advanced options and you'll want to click there. Here you can enter your site name and you can always change this, but for this we're just going to put down south DIY. Then you can input your username and that's your username to log into WordPress on the back end. And then finally a password and email address that you can be contacted by. Then click on install now. Um, this little pop-up comes up, click X to get rid of it. And now you can look at the top, you'll see this progress bar going across. It typically takes between about, oh, 20 seconds and a minute or so for the WordPress to complete its installation. So just hold tight, oh, it's already done. Click on view credentials, then your WordPress login information will pop up. It'll show your URL or domain name and then your admin URL, which is what's going to take you to your login page so you can edit your WordPress site. And that's going to be your URL. And then at the end, it'll have the extension of forward slash WP dash admin. It's also going to provide you with your username and password. So click on your admin URL and it'll take you to your WordPress login page. As soon as that pops up, type in the username and password that you had just seen on the previous screen. I like to click the little remember me box and then click login. And we're in our WordPress dashboard for the first time. 
This is on our actual domain, which is downsouthdiy.com. And this is where we're going to do all of our editing for our WordPress website. The first thing I like to do is head over to settings. And in the general settings, we can change the tagline. So we're just going to change that from the default to DIY projects anyone can do. You could also change the site title and you can continue to change these at any time. Then click save changes. The next order of business is to change the permalink. So click on that. And this is just click on post name here. This is going to make it easier for people to find you when they're using search engines, um, Google and Yahoo. It's going to make your URL extensions simpler. Next, you'll pick out your theme. WordPress comes with some default themes, or you can search for new themes. You can upload themes, or you can find some other featured free themes that they have available. Today, we're going to do a free theme to start out with. You can just click on it and then click on install if you like it, and then activate. Now that it's activated, it's ready to go. Let's take a look at just how the, th the website looked initially before we applied that theme. This is straight out of the box before we applied any theme. And now that we just activated the new one, we're gonna refresh it and you'll see the new template here. What we're going to do next is just change a couple of the pictures and the background. So on the left side, you'll scroll over under appearance to header. Here we can upload a new image and I created this previously in Photoshop. So I'm just going to find the file and upload it. Okay, so our new header is now in the theme. Next, I'm going to change the background to give it a little bit more character. And I found a cool wood themed background, just saved it on my desktop as a JPEG. And then I'm going to upload it. And click save changes. Now I'm going to show you how to make a couple other changes as well. You can go to customize up to colors. And this is where you can change the color of your buttons and some of the other areas on your website. Now we'll just do a little preview again. This is showing our brand new header with that background. We'll close out of that. And I'm going to show you how to make your first new page. We're going to add new page. And we'll call this our about page. And just type in a quick little blip here. Then click publish. As soon as you click publish, it's available for the rest of the world to see on the internet. Now we can go back to that tab in our browser, refresh it, head over to our about page, which you'll see the new tab for. And that's what we just typed. To make your first blog post, click posts on the left and then add new. And in the title box, I'm going to put my first ever DIY project post explanation points and then in the text box you can just type in whatever you'd like to write about as soon as I'm done writing this I'm going to show you how to put in a picture and to put the picture underneath this text um, oops I need to go back here you want to first press enter and then go to add media and you'll need to upload a file. So go around on your computer, search for that file. It's going to open up and then you can work with the size if you need to change the size. That's the pixels, the dimensions in pixels. It's a little bit bigger than I want it to be. So you can just go to that icon there and change the size, click update. If you want to add one more picture, you can click to the right of that and then upload another file. And then just check the size again and insert it into the post. To resize, click on it once and then click on that icon 
click on the percentage there. You can also check the dimensions here in this other page, then update. Okay, so we got two pictures in our first ever blog post and click publish. And that's now going to be live for the rest of the world to see. Let's open up the tab, refresh things, go to the home page, and you'll see now that our first ever DIY project post is now live on our web page. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful. Now you'll be able to get a domain, set up hosting, integrate WordPress, and write your first ever blog post. And not only that, you'll be able to make some customizations to your WordPress website as well. And one more recommendation I do have for you is about themes. For DIYPete.com, I ended up getting a theme from this website, which is Theme Forest. They have thousands of themes to pick from, and it's made my life so much easier in creating a website, in making changes in the design part. And yeah, it was $50, but it was the best $50 I've spent on my website. So they have all sorts of themes to pick from. I'm just browsing through a few here. They just allow you to create professional looking themes right outside the box that are customizable, look great, are search engine friendly. And I just can't say enough about at least looking at some other theme options besides the ones that are provided um, by WordPress. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you found it helpful and do find yourself starting your own website and blog, I'd certainly appreciate it if you wanted to help support the DIY Projects with Pete website simply by going to DIYPete.com forward slash start a blog and by clicking on one of those affiliate links or banners prior to signing up for Bluehost. That will help the site a lot and just allow me to have the opportunity to keep creating free information for you. All right, good luck, have fun, and cheers from Bozeman, Montana.